we talk about whether we should tax corporations. So you'll get you know the conversation on the one side that yeah corporations need to pay more um, more income more taxes, so we should raise the taxes on them. And then on the other side, no, because we're taxing entrepreneurship or whatever it is. And the, what baffles economists as we listen to this conversation back and forth of whether or not we should raise uh, raise or lower taxes on corporations. What baffles economists is is the fact that corporations actually don't pay taxes at all, period, regardless of what you charge them. What they do is they collect taxes. They collect taxes and then turn them over to you. But ultimately, who pays the taxes are the people. So if you raise taxes on a corporation, the corporation will respond in one of several ways. One way is that I raise the prices of my product. And if I do that, then I, the corporation, am not paying the taxes, I'm collecting them. Who's really paying them are my customers. Alternatively, um, I reduce the rate of return on my investors. And again, I'm not paying the tax, my investors are paying the tax in the form of a, of a lesser return. Or alternatively, you know, I consolidate my workforce, I put downward pressure on, on wages, something of that nature, I hire lower cost labor, so then, again, I'm not paying the tax, it's my workers who are paying the tax. So, so economists, when, when you talk about taxing corporations, what economists hear is, we're going to use a corporation as a funnel to obtain taxes, but really the taxes aren't coming from the corporation. They're coming from one of these three groups, either the corporation's customers or the corporation's investors or the corporation's workers.